Hi friends, uh, my name is Ratan. So in this video, we'll discuss about what uh, data types in Python, right? Good. Uh, come to the data types in Python. So anyhow, to reprint the data, uh, we have data types, right? In Java language, we have the integer type, float, boolean, uh, cat data type, long data type. We have different data types. Now coming to the Python data types. So generally, to reprint the data in Python, mainly we have the number data type to reprint the data. I'm talking about the data. So list, tuple, this one dictionary sets. We will discuss that one is later. But to understand the first basic applications to reprint the data, we require the data type first one here, number data type. Number contains here two data types. Once again, two sub data types, integer and float. Don't say sub types. Integer and floats is comes out which part here, number part, right? That's it. See in Java, how to reprint integer value? So integer employee ID equal to triple one semicolon required. If I want string data, string employee name equal to hmm, string employee name equal to what? With the double quotes rather we will write semicolon. I want double employee salary. Double employee salary. Employee salary equal to what? Some ten thousand point four five. I'll write the data like this, right? That's it. See, like that in Java, we have the eight different data types. What are the eight data types? Tell me here. Byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, boolean. Uh, but this is not part of. Uh, don't focus on Java. So you have to focus on what? Uh, Python. Coming to the Python here. <coughs> in Python, so to reprint the data, numeric values, we have only one data type that is called what? Uh, integer. But to reprint the decimal value, we have which data type here? Float data type, right? That's it. Uh, See, Python is a dynamically typed language. Dynamically typed language means what? No need to specify the type. A equal 10. A is by default type. Integer type, right? Or A is by default type. Integer type. For example, if you take the f 10.5, 10.5. So these are decimal values, right? Decimal values are by default type here. Float type. So numeric values are by default integer types. Decimal values are by default type here. Float type, right? That's it. To reprint the data, we have the integer and the float values, right? That's it. See, Ratan sir, you said integer and float. If I want employee ID means simply can go for the integer value. Employee ID equal triple one. EID is by default which type here, integer type, right? But I want employee name. Employee name is one character, group of characters here. Group of characters, right? So to reprint the group of characters in Python, simply are using string data type. You're using what? String. Right, stringer. So in Python, you can write the string within the double quotes. Otherwise, you can write the within the single quotes also. Right? That's it. So in Python, we can write the string data within the double quotes. Otherwise, within the single quotes also. That's it. See in Python, one point here, there is no character data type. In Python, there is no character data type. Everything is what a string only. Right? So if you want only one character, simply can take the ch equal within the single quotes here. I said right. We can declare the string data both in double quotes and uh, single quotes also, right? That's it. Clear? Huh? So to reprint the numeric values, you have to go for the number type, numerics and decimals. To reprint the group of characters, simply can go for which data type here? String data type. Right? Good. Python is a dynamically typed language. There is no need to specify the type of the variable, right? That's it. Clear? Huh? So if I want employee salary. What about employee salary here? So you can assign 10,000.45. Tell me 10,000.45 by default is which type of value here? Hmm, which type of value? Flow type, right? That's it. So integer is employee ID equal triple one. Employee ID is by default which type? Integer type. Employee name by default which type? String type. CH equals single quotes here. This is by default which type? String only. Hey, don't think this serve only one character means character. In Python, we can write the string double quotes, you can write in single quotes. So this is also what a string only. Employee salary by default which type here? Mm, by default which type here? Float type, right? That's it. Basically, to represent this data, we have the string data type and what a number data type. And some cases, we require the true and false values also, right? So true and false means what? To represent the true and false values, we have the data type is called what a Boolean actually. Data type here, boolean, right? See in Python, boolean simply can say b o o l bool. Uh, <coughs> so string you can say what a string str, right? That's the representations actually. That representations we'll discuss later. Boolean means what a b o o l. String means what a str, right? That's it. 
Coming to the boolean here, boolean obviously contains so many values, just uh, two values. What are the two values tell me here? True comma, false, right? That's it. Uh, T means what? Uh, true. True means what? Uh, two is a uh, zero or one? See, in C language, you have the true means zero or, fa zero or one. True means one. Say, true means T. T means one. True means one. Uh, false means what? Uh, zero. So, in Python, uh, while writing the true and false values, we have to go for uh, like a <coughs> what? T must be capital and F must be capital actually. See, in C, C, P language, you can write the false means F small, right? But in Python, while declaring the floating point values, sorry, Boolean values, True means T must be capital, false means F must be capital, right? That's it. Basically, to represent the data, basically we have these three data types. What are the three data types? Tell me. One is the, tell me here, in front of the video, don't waste the time. You can please take the pen and paper, you can please write something. See, once you're watching some video, means you have to get some knowledge. Without knowledge, watching the video, time waste process, right? Good. I hope you guys uh, will. Uh, you guys will take the pen and paper and write the questions and examples and write. Good. Clear. So just now I'm starting these videos, Python videos. Why your channel name is Ratan uh, Can please subscribe to channel. Can please like the videos. Sir, no, yeah. You have to focus on what popularity, right? Good. Anyhow, I hope you will do that points. See, my my end, I will give knowledge to you guys. Your end, you have to give the publicity, right? That's it anyhow. Tell me generally to represent the data, how many data types do we have? We have three data types. What are the three data types? One is a number. Uh, one is a number. Second one is what? Uh, number number two is what? A string. Number three is what? A boolean. Number again, it contains how many types? Uh, two types. Integer and uh, float, right? Sir, no, yeah. Integer and uh, float, right? Good. To represent the group of characters, we are using which data type? Uh, string. String we can write within the double quotes, otherwise within the single quotes also. Ratan sir, I want only one character. We don't want any, we don't have any character type in the Python. If you want character means, declare that one is also which format, a string format. To repent the true and false, you have to go for which data type? A? Boolean data type. Uh, Boolean means, uh, contains how many constants obviously? Hmm, contains how many constants? Two constants. What the two one is a true, and the other one is what a false, right? So true represents one, false represents what a zero. Clear? Huh? So th these are the data types to represent your data, right? Good. Now different ways to declare the variables actually. See in Java, here we are writing EID, E name, E salary. Here how many lines of code is there? Tell me. Millions of here, three lines, right? Good. But my requirement is what? I want to make the three lines in a single line. In Java, it is, is it possible in Java? Not possible. So you simply can go for the Python. Python, you can make these three lines of code into the single line. How means EID, comma next one is what? E name, comma is what? E salary, equal to, see, EID, comma, E name, comma, E salary. Dynamically type out, right? Types are required or not required here? Not required. So here, <coughs> simply you can go for triple one, double quotes, you can go for simply return. The third one is what? 10,000.45. That's it. Clear? So how many lines of code you written? Only single line of code, right? That is the Python is what? Dynamically type of language and Python is a single line code actually. <coughs> Python is what? Single line code, right? That's it. See, employee ID is by default type, integer type, employee name is a string type, Employee salary is by default which type? Uh, float type, right? That's it. But rather, sir, I want the uh, single value to the multiple variables. Simply you can go for A equal to, B equal to, C equal to 10. It means, now what is the value of the A? Hmm, value of the A, 10. Value of the B also 10. Value of the C also what? 10. So these are the mainly in two ways we can initialize your values, right? Sir, no, yeah? That's it. The clear, huh? so in this one you have to focus on Python is dynamically language, dynamically type language, and you have the to represent the data. Basically, we have the three data types: number, string, and what a boolean data type, right? That's it. We clear, huh? That's it. The next one here, I want to combine the data. If you want to combine the data, 10 plus 10, which data here? Integer data, right? You will get the 20s output. So int plus int, you will get the integer data. It's not a problem. So 10.5 plus 20.3, you'll get what? 30.8. The float plus float, you'll get which value here? Float value, right? 
so string data string plus data ratan plus i can write some anu here then we'll get the output is what ratan and anu right good so here you can combine integer to integer float to float ratan and anu string to string right good and it is possible to combine 10 plus 10.5 also so here 20.5 will be written output see here integer and float is blank switch part number part right so we can combine the number data in python it is possible to combine only same data type value so this one is also very very important point see while doing the uh, later next take next level examples these basic points are very very important so we must have the clarity about okay so string means we can write within the double quotes otherwise within the single quotes and uh, we cannot combine the two different data types we cannot combine what are two different data types two different data types means what here i want to combine 10 plus rather 10 is which type here integer type integer means which type uh, number type this is a string type number plus a string allowed or not allowed here not allowed so finally what the conclusion here in python it is not possible to combine two different data types two different uh, data types right it's the main point how to focus one more point right that's it very clear huh? hmm? not possible to combine what uh, two different uh, data types see python is a single line of code generally in later example fibonacci x palindrome numbers in the later example i want to swap the data to swap the data in java generally to swap the data we have to take uh, x equal 10 y equal to 20 uh, x equal 10 y equal to 20 we have to take the temporary variable we have to pass the x value to the temporary variable y value to the x value then we take x y to x y z data we have to do right that much that, that much process is there but in python most of the cases if you want to swap the data only one line of code is there what is the one line of code tell me here i want to take the two values x equal y equal 10 comma 20 now x value is how much here 10 y value is how much 20 that's it x equal to y equal to x comma y equal to y comma x that's it sir no yaar x comma y equal to y comma x the data will be swapped that's it sorry don't write a system dot out dot printl system dot out dot printl is blank switch part java right good so in python just to print the data simply can go for which function here print function print x comma y that's it we print x comma y right that's it the clear huh? so this is called what a uh, swapping of data right that's it uh. the next point here uh, redeclaring the variables redeclaring the variable means same variable i am declaring once again in java redeclaring variable obviously not possible see uh, in java redeclaring variable is possible or not possible here not possible but in python we can redeclare the variables actually that is sir how to redeclare the variables right Coming to redeclare the variable. Coming to redeclaring what uh, variables. Um, see here, I will write the code in this box. You can check it simply. Redeclaring variable. See employee ID equal to what uh, triple one. Just I want print the data. How to print uh, print e ID? You will get which value here? Triple one is there, right? Sir, no here. Employee ID equal triple one. Print e ID. Then we will get which value here? E ID will be printed. Triple one will be printed, right? See in Java, if you are declaring EID once again, you will get the duplicate variables, right? But not in Python. In Python, when we print it here, assume triple two is there. Simply you can go for what? Uh, print EID. Here the what is the output here? In Python, hash means what? Uh, hmm. Hash is a comment as well, single line comment, right? I'm writing hash here triple two. That's it. This is called what? Uh, redeclaring variable. Small small points. Uh, but very very important makes a lot of difference in application actually right eid equal triple one print eid okay i'm i'm declaring same variable once again here eid equal triple two print eid means what you'll get the triple two but not duplication right hey, but not what uh, duplication right that is called redeclaring uh, variables right that's it and one more the last point regarding your dynamic this one typing format removing the variable coming to removing variable in python it is possible to remove the variable also in python possible to remove what a variable also how to remove the variable here here i assign name equal to 
name equal to what? Ratan I am writing. Ratan we can write double quotes, otherwise we can write within the single quotes also, right? That's it. So simply you can print to print the data. Simply print a name. Print a name will means what name will be printed. If you want to delete this name, delete that variable. We want to delete that uh, variable. Simply can go for the delete command. DL name. After DL name, just now try to print the data. Print name. Uh, see, uh, whatever the things you done here, everything I will do practically. So you can check the practicals ones. While doing the practicals, don't sit idea. We have to take the lab laptop. See, I am doing the practicals by using online compiler only. So you simply can go to the Google Python online compiler. You can do the practicals along with me. Then you get the more clarity. That's it.